In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series diesel gauge package into your 1995 to 1998 6.5 liter turbo Chevrolet or GMC CK full size truck. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. The additional accessories featured in this video will make installation easier and can be purchased through our website. For the purpose of this install, we'll be using a 1998 6.5 liter turbo Chevrolet to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect both negative battery terminals before starting any work on the vehicle. If you purchase the boost bolt adapter to install your boost line, start by removing the rear center bolt from the top of the intake manifold. Wrap the boost line adapter with Teflon tape. Place the adapter into the boost bolt and tighten them using 16 and 11 millimeter wrenches. Place the boost bolt into the manifold and tighten using a 16 millimeter wrench. Place the female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line, followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Then, connect it to the boost line adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing downward to prevent any leaks. Secure the boost line with zip ties to keep it clear of any moving parts. If you did not purchase an adapter and would like to install the boost line directly to the manifold, start by loosening the turbo coupling. Disconnect the manifold sensors and remove the six intake manifold bolts. Remove the intake manifold from the engine. Use a punch to mark the back side of the manifold. Starting with a small drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until a size R is reached. Use a 1 8 27 NPT tap to thread the hole. We recommend cleaning the manifold prior to reinstalling it to the engine. Wrap the boost line adapter with Teflon tape. Place it into the manifold and tighten it using an 11 millimeter wrench. Using a new gasket when reinstalling the manifold is highly recommended. Reinstall the manifold to the engine.
Tighten all of the bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to 17 foot-pounds. Place a female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing downward to prevent any leaks. Then connect it to the boost line adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Tighten the turbo coupling. Secure the boost line with zip ties to keep it clear of any moving parts. Reconnect the sensor harnesses. If you purchase the gauge package with a fuel pressure gauge, place the fuel pressure sensor into the fuel pressure thread adapter and tighten them using 19 and 22 millimeter wrenches. Locate the fuel filter housing behind the intake manifold and remove the fuel filter cap. Place the sensor adapter into the housing and hand tighten. Use a rag to clean up any fuel that may have leaked from the housing. Connect the sensor harness wire to the sensor. Secure the wire away from any moving parts. If you purchase the gauge package that includes a transmission temperature gauge, start by wrapping the temperature sensor with Teflon tape. Disconnect the shift linkage cable and remove the bracket bolts from the shift assembly. Rotate the shift assembly to gain access to the transmission test port. Remove the transmission test port plug using an 11 mm socket. Be sure to use a drain pan to catch any fluid that may drain from the transmission. Place the temperature sensor into the test port and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Attach the female silver connector and the longer rubber cover to one end of the green wire from the gauge wiring harness. And connect it to the white wire from the sensor. Then, attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to the end of the black wire from the gauge wiring harness. And connect it to the black wire from the sensor. Rotate the shift assembly back into place and reinstall the bracket bolts. Reconnect the shift linkage cable.
To install the exhaust temperature probe, remove the passenger side front wheel. Remove the wheel well liner to gain access to the exhaust manifold. Locate a flat portion of the exhaust manifold and use a punch to mark the location for drilling. Starting with a small drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until the size R is reached. Use a 1-8-27 MPT tap to thread the hole. Cutting oil can be used to make threading the hole easier. Use a pen magnet and shop back to remove any metal shavings that may have fallen into the manifold. Apply anti-seize to the EGT sensor adapter, attach it to the manifold and tighten using a 14 millimeter wrench. Insert the exhaust temperature probe into the bolt. Ensure that the depth of the probe is approximately halfway into the manifold and tighten. Route the sensor wire to the top of the engine bay and be sure to keep clear of any moving parts. Reinstall the wheel well liner. Reinstall the wheel. Connect the braided EGT gauge harness wire to the sensor harness wire. Once all of the sensors have been installed, Run all the sensor wires to the driver's side firewall, keeping clear of any moving parts. Attach a ring terminal to the black ground wire from the transmission temperature sensor and connect it to a reliable grounding source in the engine bay. Run all sensor wires through an open grommet in the firewall. If an open grommet is not available, carefully make a hole in an existing grommet and feed the wires into the cabin. Be sure to keep them clear of any moving parts. Remove the factory pillar from the truck.
Place the gauge pot onto the pillar and mark the inside of each cup for drilling. Using a step bit, drill a hole in the factory pillar at the marked location for the gauge wiring to pass through. With the pod on the pillar, drill a hole in each corner of the pod. Use the included push-in fasteners to secure the pod to the pillar. Apply Teflon tape to the fitting on the back of the boost gauge and attach the boost line adapter. Feed the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. Next, feed the wiring harness for the EGT and transmission temperature gauges through the pod and place each gauge into the cups. Using the yellow wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the red wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the red wires together. Using the orange wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the black wires together. Use zip ties to clean up the wires. To install the gauge pod onto the pillar, Feed the sensor harness wires up through the dash and to the pod location. Using a wire connector, connect the green wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the gauge power harness wire. Plug the EGT sensor harness wire into the back of the exhaust temperature gauge. To connect the boost line to the back of the boost gauge, run the boost line through the pod.
Place the brass nut over the line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing upward to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the adapter and tighten the nut onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench. Feed the power wires from the pod down through the dash. Loosen the dash trim and feed the orange wire from the gauges through the panel. Place the pod onto the pillar. Ensure that the bottom of the pod is fully tucked into the dash and that the pillar clips are securely fastened. In order to test for power, reconnect the negative battery terminals. To enable the dimming feature, remove the headlight switch panel from the dash trim and use a test light to locate a wire that receives 12 volt power when the headlights are turned on. Attach a wiretap to the headlight wire. Then, attach a wire connector to the orange wire from the gauges and plug it into the tap. Reinstall the panel. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits which can be purchased through our website. Using a test light, locate a fuse that receives constant 12 volt power. Then, locate a fuse that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. Attach the first expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauges. Remove the 12 volt ignition fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Locate a clean, reliable grounding source under the dash and connect the black ring terminal wire from the gauges. Power your gauges to ensure that everything is working properly. You've now successfully installed your GlowShift diesel gauge package into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE, and we'll see you on the road.